he taught me about this concept called the the new meta. Everyone here understands like meta in a in a video game. Is that right? Like it was that that was a common term for like most most people growing up. Like so in League of Legends, I played League of Legends, right? And it was like every month or two there'd be a new update and the meta would change and the meta was kind of like the the best way to play the game so it was kind of like okay right now the meta like eric said right now the meta's about tanks so it's like on um you know the the, the champions that are like tanky they've got loads of defense and health and stuff it's like the tank meta right now but then the the people of league of legends they release some kind of update which makes like this kind of um Oh, that's it. Most effective tactic available. That's, yeah. yeah so the meta is the most effective tactic available. And the idea is, okay, there's a meta for, for tanks and there's a meta for, like, junglers or whatever it is, right? Based on, like, updates and whatever. Like, and then that meta does the best for a long time up until some early experimenters keep finding that they're able to beat that meta with something else or unless there's, like, an update to something. And so you literally see this with all parts of life. Very interestingly, you see this with the UFC, with MMA. It's, like, there was a meta for this, a meta for this. Now the meta is, like, these Dagestanian wrestlers. And, like, I was researching this. Like, the way that they wrestle is the absolute, like, best meta right now. But since they're rising, upon every rise, there's someone who's fighting them. There's someone who's, like, you know, trying to overcome it. And they'll start to figure out how to overcome it consistently. So the meta will like change. Like a chink in the armor kind of thing. Yeah. So right now it's, like, Khabib-style wrestling. But soon, like, you, if anyone watches UFC, I don't really watch it, but I just researched it. It's, like, soon it will change. And you'll see, like, some rising UFC star who's able to destroy, like, these Dagestanians when they try and wrestle him because he's just studied it. And now there's going to be a new meta where everyone's going to use that that um training instead so there's there's a new meta to making money i was going to make a video about this i probably still will where i was i was going to start the video saying like there's a new meta to making money and if you don't realize this you'll be left behind the new meta is a guy in a bathrobe who's in his parents bedroom who makes more money than 10 doctors who have collectively put a hundred years into their education getting their degrees beforehand there is a weird new meta that a lot of people haven't woken up to and they're going to be sadly awakened when it's time to compete with you know the people in, in the industries and they're going to be like the the newest dagestanis who are still training even though there's a there's a meta above that so the most you know the people who are right now in, in college who are trying to get the degree who are going to start working at uh, 15 dollars an hour the people who want to help someone on a call, you know, sounds wholesome, the, 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 the purposeful person who says, yeah, I just want to help people. And so I'm going to go get a therapy degree and I'm going to go study for four years and five years and get in debt. And I'm really going to help people and, you know, have conversations with them. And he studies for four years, five years, whatever, gets his degree. He can now do therapy. He's making $30 an hour. A 14 year old kid sets up coaching in the next 30 minutes and sets his price at $35 an hour and, and makes more money than him. There's a weird new meta that a lot of people aren't waking up to in the new meta is le I would say it's probably leveraging social media to sell online products and also to value your time incredibly highly, like five, ten times more than you could ever be paid in a job for. And it's like the meta of the, the solopreneur, the creator. Pen yeah, it's the meta of the creator preneur. That's what, so the, the, that's a new phrase that a lot of people are saying these days, creator preneur. So it's like, you're a creator, you're a content creator, but you mix that with entrepreneurship and you make free content on social media. Then you lead people down the funnel, like I did with you guys, sell them a product which requires your time, sell them a, a product that doesn't require your time, like, like memberships, sell them physical products, make the merch and stuff. Merch is kind of outdated these days. Mostly we just sell education. That's the, the meta I would say is specifically what you see me doing. You grow on social media, Make people like you and then send them to a group like this, send them to mentorships, send them to private groups, one-to-one, -one, send them to um, online courses and programs and apps and stuff. Mostly, most of those don't work anywhere near as the ones I'm doing. So if you want to know, at least from my success and, and how my brain and my heart works is is the school community and then also online pro uh, online courses. I think that's the new meta is just go on, go on social media and send people to the there's honestly it's very realistic that for the 66 people watching that if, if let's say if everyone tried this and put in one hour of work per day it's very realistic that more than 20 of the guys here would be making five times as much as their job within a year by doing this very realistic
And it's based on this article, which I think is really interesting to find. I think everyone might like reading this. Essentially, this guy here, this um, blogger or something, he made this article that went kind of viral on Twitter where he talks about we're all playing the great online game. And essentially what he's just done is he's he's gamified the internet and essentially just said, like, like based on this tweet, kind of, sometimes it's weird to remember that we're all effectively competing to hit the right keys on our keyboard in the right order. And then if we do it for long enough, we can buy a house.